G'day guys, we've got an area optimization question today. The question says that we've got an opening in a wall that is to be made in the shape of a semicircle over a rectangle. Now that's what we have right here. The distance around the edge of the opening must measure 12 meters. So from the question, we know that the perimeter of this shape has to equal 12 meters. What are the dimensions that will result in the greatest area? Okay, so we're going to use calculus to solve this problem, but I'm going to go show you how I would go about solving this question in an exam. So first of all, what I've got is I'm going to have to make an expression for the perimeter of this semicircle over a rectangle. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to make an expression for the semicircle. So I'm going to call the radius of this semicircle x. So I'm going to put an x down there. So as a result, the circumference of half a circle is just, rather than being 2 pi r, is just pi r, or in this case, pi x. Cool. Now, from here, I could also work out what the base of the uh, opening in the wall is going to be. So because the radius is x, this is going to be the diameter of the semicircle. So this is going to be... 2x. Now I'm going to make the height of the rectangle equal to y just for ease. So this is going to be y and y. So I can say that the perimeter of this shape is going to be equal to 2x plus pi x plus y plus y, so 2y. And it says it has to equal. 12. Cool. Now, we can also work out what the area of this shape is going to be. I'll put it in a different colour. So we know that the area of this shape is going to be equal to the area of the rectangle, which is going to be 2x times y, or 2xy. And we're going to add that to the area of half a circle. Now, the area of a circle is pi r squared. In this case, the radius is x. So half a circle is going to be pi x squared divided by 2. Cool. So what we're going to do, notice how we have this function here, which we're trying to maximize. So this is the, this is the function that we are trying to optimize. Okay, so notice how the function that we're trying to optimize is in terms of two variables. Well, that's going to be an issue for us. So what we do is we get um, this function here, or the function of the perimeter. This acts as like a boundary function. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this function here. So I'm going to do it so it's y in terms of x. So to start with, I'm going to move the two parts that contain an x over to the right-hand side. And I'm going to have, as a result, I'll just put it up here, 2y is, e, is equal to 12, take 2x, take pi x. Cool. So, what we can then do is we can then just divide everything by 2 y is equal to 12 take 2x take pi x all divided by 2. Now with this part here we can to make it easier for us down the track a little bit what we're going to do is we're going to combine our like terms here so 2x and pi x and we're also going to divide it by 2 so we're basically going to give a approximate um, function so but it's going to be to, we're going to do it to four decimal points so that's a pretty you know good approximation so we're going to have 12 divided by 2 is 6 minus we've got 2 divided by 2 which is just 1 and we've got half of pi so when we combine the two x terms together and then divide them by 2 
we're going to get 6 minus 2.5708x. Cool. So the reason we've done this is we're going to then, to make, see, notice how this is in terms of two variables. We're going to get this function that we've got from the perimeter, and we're going to substitute it in for y in our area function. So I'm going to get this function, and I'm going to plug it in for y there. So my result is going to be that I have an area function which looks like this. We've got 2x times, rather than writing y, I'm going to write 6 minus 2.5708x, close bracket, plus pi x squared over 2. Cool. Now, I'm going to multiply out these brackets, but I'm also going to um, approximate pi over 2, so I don't have to have a fraction here. So basically, I'm going for an approximate solution here. If I remember correctly, the solution in, um, in the exam, which this is, the student has taken this from, was to two decimal places. So we're going to approximate to 4, and then we'll have no problem then just rounding to 2 at the end. So we're going to multiply out this bracket. We're going to have area is equal to 2 times 6 is 12x minus 5.1416x squared. And then we're going to plus, now pi divided by 2, One point five seven zero eight x squared. Okay, now we can combine these like terms here. So we're going to have one point five seven zero eight minus five point one four one six, three point five seven zero eight. x squared. Now, to find the greatest area, to find the dimensions that will result in the greatest area, we have to differentiate this. So we're going to take our dA dx. And that's going to be equal to, well, a constant, 12 minus 3.5708 times 2. 7.1416. So as a result, what we can and as a result, we can then solve for x here to find our value of x, which will result in the greatest area. Because what we're going to do is what maximizes this area is when the derivative of the function is equal to zero. So we're then going to solve for x. So I could move the 7.1416 to the right and then divide it by. 7.1416. So I'm going to have x is equal to 12 divided by 7.1416, which is equal to 1.68. Cool. So that's what our x is going to be. But notice how the dimensions of this x is not equal to the width. The width is equal to 2x because we've made x equal to the radius. So the width of it, the width of this opening is going to be is equal to 2x, which is equal to 3.36. Now, what we can also do is we can work out what um, the height of it is, or y, is going to be equal to 6 minus 2.5708. I'm taking it from this equation here. 
times by what we found for x, 1.68. Okay, and we find that is just equal to 1.68 metres. Metres. Make sure we put our uh, units in. So, as you can see, it's quite a you know a tricky problem because you're given um, variables or uh, relationships where, which are in terms of irrational numbers. Now, if we wanted to keep the whole equation in terms of pi, it would have made for some fairly sticky or tricky looking algebra. And it could be done, but it would be a pain in the ass to do. What you'd be expected to do in an exam is you'd be expected to answer to three or four significant figures, depending on like where you're from, I guess. And so what you would do is you would approximate to a couple of significant figures more than what you're gonna to have to leave your answer to. Work through it at, with the decimals, and then at the end, just round to the appropriate number of significant figures. In Western Australia, where I'm from, you have to leave most solutions to three significant figures, which is what I've done here. So I hope the video helped, guys. Just make sure that if it did, hit me up with a like and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos almost every day. And if you need any help or you've got ways that I can um, improve my videos, put a comment on in the comment section and um, I'll be happy to um, incorporate it into my next videos. Thanks guys, until next time, I'll see you soon.